today's video i am going to solve the recurrence relation using generating function so in this video i am going to explain how to solve the recurrence relation using the generating function so use the generating function to solve the recurrence relation a n is equal to 4 times of a n minus 1 plus 3 n into 2 power n where n greater than or equal to 1 with the initial condition so it is given as a naught is equal to 4 see here let's get started to solve let the generating function Let the generating function of the sequence of the sequence a and b g of n, z of z. Therefore, z of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n into z power n. Now, coming to the question, the given recurrence relation is The given recurrence relation the given recurrence relation is given as see here this is a n is equal to 4 times of a n minus 1 plus 3 n into 2 power n. So this is the recurrence relation given. Now I am going to multiply both sides. See here multiplying. both sides with by z power n for n greater than or equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to now now throughout the equation just I am multiplying with z power n so this will become that is sigma a n into z power n where n greater than or equal to 1 is equal to 4 times of this is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 a n minus 1 this is z power n plus this is a sigma n greater than or equal to 1 this is 3 n times of 2 power n 2 power n into z power n so I multiply throughout the equation or both sides of the equation with z power n next see what happens here so there is n minus 1 here so in order to balance I am in my next step that is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 a n z n is equal to 4 times of so i need minus 1 here so so this is z power 1 sigma n less than or equal to 1 a n minus 1 here this is z power so this is z power n into this is z power minus 1 plus this one this is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 this is 3 n 2 power n into z power n see here in order to balance i have n minus 1 here so now i'll make n minus 1 that is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 this is a n z power n is equal to 4 z this is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 a n minus 1 this is z n minus 1 plus see here now this is 3 I am bringing it outside and next one this is a sigma n greater than or equal to 1 and this can be written as n times of this is 2 z power n okay now our next step will be according to the definition according to the definition of uh, generating function so this can be written as g of z minus a naught is equal to this is 4 z times of according to the definition so this can be written as g of z plus this is 3 times of sigma n greater than or equal to 1 so this can be written as n into 2 z power n so this is 2 z power n so in my next step what i am doing is i am taking this g of z common so this will become 1 minus 4 z into g of z minus what is a naught here from the question we have a naught as 4 so given a naught is equal to 4 since a naught is equal to 4 since a naught value is 4 from the question i am substituting here a naught as 4 so this is a naught as 4 and this and what remains here so here this will be 3 times of so this is 3 times of if i 
multiply with 2z that is a sigma n is equal to 1 to n this is 2z power n minus 1 this is power 1 and this is minus 1 so here you have to remember this one so i multiplied and divided with 2 power z so see what happens here so this will become 3 1 minus 1 minus 4z into g of z minus 4 is equal to this is 3 into 2z if i put n is equal to 1 here if i put n is equal to 1 this is 1 and if i put n is equal to 2 the next step this is 2 into this is 2z and next if i put n is equal to 3 this is 3 into this is 2z whole square plus and so on so this is the expansion and we have to write that expansion as see here in my next step what i'm doing is so this can be written as 1 minus 4z into g of z minus 4 is equal to 3 to the 6 6 z times of so this can be written as 1 minus 2 z power minus 2 so this is the expansion 1 plus 2 into x plus 3 into x square plus and so on is nothing but 1 minus x power minus 2 see here now this will become 1 minus 4z into g of z is equal to if i send 4 to other side this will be plus 4 plus 6z times of 1 minus 2z power minus 2 and see so this can be written as 1 minus 4z into g of z is equal to this is 4 plus 6z by i am bringing this to the denominator then is it will become 1 minus 2z whole square so if i send this 1 minus 4z to the rhs then see what happens that is g of z is equal to 4 by 1 minus 4z plus this is a 6z by 1 minus 4z into this is 1 minus 2z whole square this is 2z whole square now i have to solve this i am naming it or mentioning this equation as number a now i have i'll resolve into partial fractions i'll consider 6z by 1 minus 4z into that is 1 minus 2z whole square now if i resolve into partial fractions then see it can be split as this is a by 1 minus 4z and this is square so i can write as b by 1 minus 2z plus c by this is 1 minus 2z whole square now if i solve this then see what happens here this will be 6z by this is 1 minus 4z into this is 1 minus 2z whole square so here if i take lcm that is 1 minus 4z into this is 1 minus 2z whole square if i take lcm so this is going to be 1 into so this is already there so i can write this as 1 minus 2z whole square plus b times of so this is only for one time and now in order to balance 1 minus 4z into 1 minus 2z plus c times of so now this will be 1 minus 4z now i can cancel this on both sides that is 1 minus 4z 1 minus 4z and 1 minus 2z whole square and 1 minus 2z whole square so then what is the equation left over so this is 6z is equal to 6z is equal to this is a times of 1 minus 2z whole square plus b times of this is 1 minus 4z into 1 minus 2z plus c times of this is 1 minus 4z 4z now i need the values of a b and c so in so i need the values of c here a b and c so now if i put so first if i put z is equal to so in order to cancel this one so 1 minus 1 i need 1 here so i have to cancel this 2 so this is 1 by 2 first i am keeping z is equal to half see what happens here so 6 into half is equal to this is a times of this will be 0 and b times of this will be 0 see here if i put half here so half 1 minus 1 0 so this is 1 minus 1 0 so this is c times of 1 minus this is 4 by 2 so if i cancel this for two times and see here if i cancel this for three times this is 3 is equal to c times of this is 1 minus 2 3 is equal to this value is c is equal to minus 1 and c value is equal to minus 3 so we got the value of c as minus 3 so this value c as minus 3 we got and the next thing is we need a value 
as well as B value. For getting A value, I have to substitute. So, which one I'll substitute here? If I put Z, Z is equal to half and this and this got cancelled. Now, if I keep here, this one 0. So, in order to make B 0, I'll put Z is equal to. I need B to be cancelled. So, I, I'll put 1 by 4. So, 1 is needed. 1 minus 1, 0. So, in order to cancel or balance, I'm dividing with 4. So, I'll keep Z is equal to 1 by 4. Then, 6 into 1 by 4 is equal to, see here, A times of, this is 1 minus 2 by 4 whole square. And this value is 0 and here C. So, this also, if I put Z is equal to 1 by 4, so this will become 0. And C, so if I cancel 3 times and this is 2 times, 3 by 2 is equal to A times of, this is 1 by 2. So, this is 1 minus half whole square. So, this is 3 by 2 times of A into 1 minus half is again half whole square. So, this value is 3 by 2 times of A into 1 by 4. So, if I cancel this for 2 times, A value is equal to 3 into 2 and A value is equal to 6. So, we got the value of A as 6. And the next step what I am going to take is, see here there is no substitution. So, even though we cancelled this, if we put Z is equal to half and Z is equal to 1 by 4, it worked out. And the next one, there is no scope of any substitution. Now, I am comparing Z square quotients on both sides. See here, compare Z square quotients on both sides on comparing on comparing Z square quotients on both sides. See here from which equation? So this is the equation. So this equation is nothing but this is 6Z. See I am showing you this is 6Z is equal to A times of 1 minus 2Z whole square plus B times of 1 minus 4Z into 1 minus 2Z plus C times of 1 minus 4Z. So, in this equation, if I compare Z square quotients, so here, so if I square, I will be getting Z square. So, here the quotient is nothing but 4 and this is A and here there is no Z square quotient, this is 0 and if I multiply these two, then I will get Z square. So, this is minus 4 into minus 2, so which is nothing but 8B. So, here A value I have to keep as 6, 0 is equal to this is 4 into 6 plus this is 8b. 0 is equal to this is 24 plus this is 8b. So, 8b. So, 8b is equal to minus 24 and b value is equal to this is minus 24 by 8. So, b value is equal to this is minus 3. So, I got the value of b as minus 3, c as minus 3 and a as plus 6. And after getting all these values, you see a, b, c are ready. So, after getting A, B, C values, see here our A value is nothing but, see we got our A value as, I will show you, A, what is A value? A is equal to 6. What is our B value? So, B is equal to, this is minus 3. And I will show you the C value, see here, C value is minus 3. So, this C value is minus 3. Now, I have to substitute in this equation. So, A, B, C. So, again, this is the part of equation A. So, 6z, see, I will show you after substituting all these values. Therefore, 6z, 6z by 1 minus 4z into, this is 1 minus 2z whole square is equal to, what is A? This is 6 by 1 minus 4z. B is minus 3 by 1 minus 2z. And C is nothing but minus 3 by 1 minus 2z whole square. Now, I will substitute this value in equation number A. So, this is equation number A. So, G of Z is equal to, see here, now G of Z value is equal to. So, equation A, what equation A implies, G of Z is equal to, this is 4 times of 1 minus 4 Z plus 6 Z times of, this is 1 minus 4 Z into, this is 1 minus 2 Z whole square. So, in equation number A, I am going to substitute the value of this as the three terms, that is G of Z 
g of z is equal to 4 times of 1 minus 4z. Instead of writing this, I will write these three terms that is plus 6 times of 1 minus 4z and this is minus 3 times of 1 minus 2z and this is minus 3 times of 1 minus 2z whole square. And now, so this will become, so if I add these, if I add these terms that is g of z is equal to 4 plus 6 that is 10 times of 1 minus 4z minus 3 times of 1 minus 2z and this is minus 3 times of 1 minus 2z whole square whole square therefore the required solution can be written as therefore the required therefore the required solution can be written as The required solution can be written as a n is equal to so what is the quotient here 10 so this value is nothing but 10 10 times of this is 10 times of what is this power 4 so this can be written as 4 power n minus 3 times of this is 2 power n and here there is a square term so here there is minus 3 times of this is n plus 1 into again the quotient of z here is 2, 2 power n. So, this is the answer according to the generating function. Therefore, a n is equal to 10 into 4 power n minus. So, if I take, uh, see here, 3, 2 power n common from these minus 3 into 2 power n if I take common. See here, this will be 1 plus and this is again n plus 1. Got it? This will be n plus 1. So, this is n plus 1. So, a power n is equal to 10 into this is 4 power n minus 3 into this is 2 power n. This is 2 plus n. So, if I send this a n is equal to 10 into this is 4 power n minus if I multiply. So, this will be 3 to the 6 plus 3 n. Therefore, our general solution is, therefore, the general solution a n is equal to 10 into 4 power n minus this is 3 n plus 6 into this is 2 power n. So, this is how we have to solve and if you practice, definitely you can solve by your own and let me explain you this question for one time. So, this is the question given and let the generating function of the sequence a n be given as g of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n into z power n. So, this is the reference relation and now I am multiplying both sides with z power n. So, after multiplying in order to balance here n minus 1. So, I am multiplying and dividing with z. So, in my next term I got this one using the generating function definition. So, I wrote like this and after that I took g of z common and in place of a naught I placed 4. And after that, see here, this is n into 2z. So, here it is starting from 1. So, in order to balance this, I multiplied with 2z. See here, this, this is a point which you have to remember. I multiplied with 2z and divided with 2z in order to balance this. And after that, if I put n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. And this is not, nothing but the expansion. So, which expansion it is? This is nothing but the expansion of uh, 1 minus 2z. So, this is 1 minus 2z. Uh, 1 minus 2z power minus 2. So, here I sent 4 to other side and see this one. So, I have to split this or resolve this into partial fractions. This is ABC. And after finding, I got the value of C value as uh, minus 3. A value as a 6 and B value as minus 3. Now I substituted A, B, C values and again our G of Z is equal to this one. So instead of writing this, I wrote the, all the three terms here. I added up these two that is the 6, 4 plus 6 is 10 and after that this is the general solution. So this is how we have to solve and so simple if you practice and definitely if you really like this, please pass it on to friend your friends and subscribe to this channel and please have a look at my next videos too and it will immensely help you in your preparation until then stay connected